Microsoft shook up the tech world with a groundbreaking announcement. They invested a staggering $13 billion in OpenAI, a move that has sent shockwaves through the industry. OpenAI, the innovative company behind the revolutionary ChatGPT, is now poised for even greater advancements. ChatGPT is a powerful AI chatbot that has already made significant strides in natural language processing. It can generate human-like text, making it a valuable tool for various applications, from customer service to content creation. This deal is monumental for both companies, marking a new era of collaboration and innovation. Microsoft gains a significant advantage in the competitive AI landscape. Meanwhile, OpenAI receives the necessary resources to expand its research and development efforts. However, not everyone is celebrating this massive investment. The deal has attracted widespread attention and scrutiny from various quarters. Regulators are stepping in to ensure that the deal is fair and does not stifle competition. They are particularly concerned about the potential impact on market dynamics and competition. This deal has the potential to reshape the entire tech landscape, influencing future trends and developments. It's a clear sign of the growing importance and influence of AI in our world, and it raises significant questions about the future of the Internet and how AI will shape our digital lives. The European Union is investigating the deal between Microsoft and OpenAI. They're concerned about Microsoft's growing power in the tech industry. The EU wants to protect consumers from potential monopolistic practices. They aim to ensure fair competition in the rapidly evolving tech industry. Leading the charge in this investigation is Margreta Vestager. She's the EU's competition chief, known for her rigorous approach. Vestager is known for her tough stance on big tech companies. In the past, she's taken on giants like Google and Apple. Vestager is particularly worried about Microsoft's cloud services dominance. Microsoft Azure is a major player in the cloud computing market. OpenAI relies heavily on Azure to power its advanced AI models. The EU is investigating whether Microsoft will unfairly favor OpenAI. They want to determine if other companies will be shut out of the market. This could potentially stifle innovation and ultimately harm consumers by reducing choices. Cloud computing is a big deal. It's how we store and access data online. And it's a market that's expected to grow even bigger. Microsoft's investment in OpenAI is a strategic move. They want to be the go-to provider for AI-powered cloud services. This deal gives them a significant advantage. OpenAI's technology requires massive computing power. They need Microsoft Azure to run their AI models. This dependence gives Microsoft leverage. The EU is concerned about this power dynamic. They don't want Microsoft to use it to stifle competition. They want to ensure a level playing field in the cloud. Section 4. Exclusivity Concerns The EU is worried about exclusivity. They fear Microsoft might limit access to OpenAI's technology. This could hurt competitors and stifle innovation. Imagine if only Microsoft customers could use ChatGPT. That would give them a huge advantage. Other companies would be at a disadvantage. The EU wants to prevent this scenario. They want to ensure that OpenAI's technology is available to everyone. This would promote competition and benefit consumers. Microsoft has argued that it's committed to openness. They've said they'll continue to make OpenAI's tools widely available. But the EU remains skeptical. Section 5. Shaping the Future of AI This deal has implications beyond Microsoft and OpenAI. It signifies a pivotal moment in the evolution of artificial intelligence, where collaborations between tech giants could redefine the landscape of innovation. It's about the future of artificial intelligence. The advancements we see today are just the beginning, with AI poised to become an integral part of our daily lives, and it raises questions about the role of big tech in shaping that future. How will these companies influence the direction of AI development, and what ethical considerations will they prioritize? AI has the potential to revolutionize many industries. From automating mundane tasks to providing sophisticated solutions, its impact could be profound. From healthcare to transportation, the possibilities are endless. Imagine a world where diseases are diagnosed early and traffic accidents are a thing of the past. But there are also risks. The misuse of AI could lead to privacy invasions, job displacement, and even biased decision-making. The EU wants to ensure that AI is developed responsibly. They are pushing for regulations that safeguard public interest while encouraging technological progress. They want to prevent monopolies and promote competition. By doing so, they hope to create a more dynamic and fair tech ecosystem. 
They believe this is the best way to foster innovation. A competitive environment can lead to breakthroughs that benefit society as a whole. The outcome of this investigation could set a precedent. It might influence how other regions approach AI governance and regulation. It could determine how AI is regulated in the future. The decisions made today will shape the ethical and operational standards of tomorrow, and it could have a lasting impact on the tech industry. The balance between innovation and regulation will be crucial in defining the next era of technological advancement. Section 6. A Balancing Act The EU faces a difficult task. They need to balance competing interests. They want to promote innovation but also protect competition. Microsoft's investment in OpenAI is a sign of the times. It shows the growing importance of AI. It also highlights the challenges of regulating big tech. The EU's investigation is ongoing. It's unclear what the outcome will be. But one thing is certain, the stakes are high. The decisions made today will shape the future of AI. They will determine whether this powerful technology benefits everyone or just a select few.